Raleigh Go Green event to feature Go Raleigh electric bus. So okay, in, when? And it's the uh, Saturday Go Green's event will highlight some of the efforts that involve transportation, including Go Raleigh buses, Citrix bicycles, and electric scooters. It will take place at 10 a.m. to noon in Dorothea Dix Park at the Greg Poole Jr. All Face Chapel, 1030 Richardson Drive. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It says the event will feature one of five electric buses that Go Raleigh is adding to its fleet of 100 buses. The electrics will go into service in mid-September after drivers and mechanics are trained and the charging stations readied, said spokeswoman uh, Andrea Epstein. Okay, way cool. Way cool. Huh? I have to put Johnny on the job downtown looking for him. That's right. Johnny's my spotter. That's right. Are you ready for me to get out there with the food? I'm a little late today. I'm on weekend time. I opened up the door to come out this morning and Marty was in the house. I mean, he didn't, he didn't hesitate. Thankfully, uh mittens and him got along okay and I set everything down outside and then went back in and retrieved him. I was in a precarious position because I had my hands so full of food. Looks like my hibiscus is going to put out a few more flowers. So maybe two tenths of an inch last night. It was quite loud again. Um, but um, we didn't get that much rain last night. Very loud, windy, but not a lot of rain. Here's our buddy. Hey, Tux. Yeah, they're all extra hungry this morning. It's not that late. It's only 8.30. It's uh, cloudy this morning. Maybe the sun will break through later. I still have a few red canna lily blooms, and I have been seeing hummingbirds coming um, and taking the nectar on them. So those are a really nice addition to the yard. It started out with three little tiny plants in 2013, and it sure is a nice stand of lilies at this point. A friend gave me both the lilies and the yellow flower, and they kind of they kind of hold each other up. Those lilies are so tall, they don't do good without something to brace themselves on. Here's my buddies this morning. Hi. Hey, Slady. Oh, actually, that's Gray. I didn't mean to startle you, Panther. I would walk over to Gray, but he got nervous. I moved where he didn't expect me to go. He's very concerned. Well, you guys be good. Come back and eat. Let me let you know. So, Maple View Farms in Chapel Hill yeah. is closing. Yeah. They they supply a lot of uh, milk and cream to Whole Foods. That's going to be a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. Well, they, they said they're going to keep the ice cream stand open, but bring in the milk from somewhere else. Yeah, well, yeah, that's right. The cream, the milk. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a big deal for Whole Foods, I would think, losing that local milk supply. Yeah, well, they, they're one of the, the people who uh, do it, but it, um, yeah. It's just sad. Yeah, whenever um, local um, farm stewardship would do the family farm tours and stuff, they used to be one of the places people would go because the kids want to see the cows and then they want ice cream. So that's also a loss for the community too. Right. Losing these um, smaller family farms is right. sad. Yep. Well, I haven't enough trouble getting cream. I don't normally buy their cream these days. I used to buy it a lot. But um, I think that'll hurt the my cream supply at Whole Mittens Foods. Mittens is one of those kitties that just doesn't need a lot of huge number of pets. But she stays up here in this spot on the platform. And she's a happy kitty, aren't you? Aren't you? Hi. Hello, honey. Hello, honey bunny. Hi. She looks like her daddy. So we've decided to walk around Dorothea Dix Park this morning, um, which as you know is on the south side of downtown Raleigh, and go check out the electric buses as part of our morning walk. I'm also scoping out the pedestrian bridge in Cary, which is sort of near Whole Foods, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Well, it's just nothing but cloudy out here as we approach the park and uh, downtown. It's just, uh, it's just one of those mornings. <laughs> the chap 
people. We see the bus. Actually, there's two of them up there. And some little tent things. And, yep. uh, so yeah, I guess you can see they've got one of the CNG buses and they've got an electric bus. They've got both of them up there. That's what it is. It's not two electric buses. Wherever you want. On the weekends, you can pretty much park in Dorothea Dix wherever you want. On work days, there are still DHS people out here and you do have to respect the parking, but it's pretty much acceptable on the weekends to park wherever you want. Did you want. load out Ruby this morning? Because <laughs> there's a red X over here. <laughs> oh yeah, it is a nice wide spot. But I was more focused on the red X. Well, of course there are other Tesla people interested in coming to learn about the buses. It's a 90, so it's a little older than Ruby, possibly. Yeah, no camera in the B pillar, perforated seats. It's Model X B tripping. It is. <laughs> I recognize his seat cover for the driver's seat. So I'm sure now, because I haven't memorized his plate, but he's got to be here. We'll look for so him. So obviously the electric bus is on the left and the CNG bus is on the right. <laughs> the ZX5, because we need to have a cool number name, right? Yeah. What's the zero to 60? Eh, I'm sure it's better than the regular FRX bus. Well, Don was talking about taking a bus ride with Johnny um, this school year for practice, for future practice. And um, yeah, be nice if it was this bus. Still got a CB? Yeah. Mobile Eye? Donnie? Mobile Eye? Yeah. Video surveillance on the bus? Yeah. Nice protection for the driver? Yeah, I think that's a camera right there. I mean, if. Yeah, like face and face and forward. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. Huh? Hey, buddy, come here. What's no, that? no, no, no. Oh, okay. He's going to shut up. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Right. Out, out. <laughs> Let's give it oh, so that holds the wheelchair. Yeah, so that just, uh, that's oh, what they it's... call the, the quantum. So it really just allows the, the passenger to have a lot more independence by just backing in, hitting the button. Uh, yeah. And then it just presses them against the wall, and it, it's really really secure believe it or not uh, I'm bad. sure yeah so I think the only kind of downside to it is uh, it's it's rear facing so yeah, yeah. So yeah. Don't yeah. Like, don't don't like that that's right now. but a safe seat but, on the bus is still you know yeah, that's the safest way so yeah that it would, that's right yeah. yeah I guess none of the other seats are rear there's a couple sideways up there yeah. but so. just as far as um, time to that stop you know it, it, driver really doesn't need to assist or yeah. anything so yeah uh, so is this like for emergency stop or what's the yeah, yellow yeah exactly okay that's exactly it so so does this other arm does it really center it or is it is that yeah true? so what it does is it, it comes out and then it hits it and then it kind of moves it and keeps pressing in until it's like fully secure almost like three times yeah um, it's pretty neat. Yeah, technology. well, I was just thinking that the, that arm is hitting this bow this chair. That looks like that might be a little... Well, they came forward a little bit, right? You know, if it's well, in yeah. the stowed position, somebody can still exactly. sit in that chair. It'll move out, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, all right, let's just try and get the whole picture there. So what route is this bus going to do? That I don't know. Um, still not decided I, I, yet, I huh? I think they're going to... I work for Proterra. Sure. So, uh, well, they, 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 they've got five buses, yeah. and I think the plan is to... This is kind of their pilot. Sure. Move it around on different routes yeah, and fine. things and get a feel for where they're going to put them. But I think, you know, they're looking at... Well, y'all have that whole package, right? Where you really help them plan and gather the data to really try to make sure right. that the range of the bus and the routes that they really pain points. I went to a presentation oh, okay. up at um, Greensboro. 
Yeah. Uh, Hi, Winston Salem, Salem, Salem High Point yeah. or something. Yeah. One of y'all's got. Was that a few years ago? Yeah, a couple okay. years ago. Yeah, I, I, I was actually at that. Uh, I worked for American Seating before, so I sold the seats on the buses. Oh, okay. Been with Rotera a little bit over a year now. Okay. So, so I don't think I was actually at that one. Yeah. yeah it was very, uh, very useful. Um, the. Um, you know the range and the, the the whole making sure that they don't Attention, uh, go they maximize the, the effectiveness of the, the bus and their pain points. And, you know, like you said, but moving it around. Is, is, in other words, you just don't buy an electric bus like you buy your car. And then, oh by the way, just use it. You know, yeah, we did a lot you have to do a lot of prep. You know, right. So, so right can we here. make it stop beeping? Why is it still yeah, beeping? I don't know. I think they touched it without. Yes, the little kid pushed it. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know if the driver. There's a button up here. I actually don't know too much about. Yeah, I saw it move. Oh. Okay. Yeah, now it's going to go back into its yeah, stow probably, position. Yeah. Stow position. Yeah, that's what's wrong. You didn't find a. That was an error. He yeah. didn't find something. He said, "Hey, I did my whole range, and I didn't." And there's nobody, but there's nobody here. But there's right, nobody yeah, here. Okay. So there that is. makes sense. Um, so now this this bus is a 30 foot, five foot model. So we have the 40 foot as well. Uh, we've got four battery packs on the bottom. Sure. That give us about 450 kilowatt hours of, of okay. energy. So I'm not exactly sure what they're seeing on range yet um because they haven't really been running them yet right but yeah somewhere we would expect you know 220 at least over 200 just depending on the weather and you know how they're running the ac or the yeah all that the stuff yeah so um, how are they going to charge them are they going to uh, yeah they've got it, on they've route got, charging or are they going to just do it all central right now they've got just um six Siemens chargers, I think, that were just commissioned this week at their transit facility off of like Pool Road. So okay. just, when they come back at night, they're just going to plug them in for now. Right. Um, and we hope they'll be going for most of the day on the single charge. Yeah. Yep. I think that's the plan. Um, What's the charging speed? Uh, so I saw something from Siemens. Yeah. Maybe there's a table over there that. There was, I think they're 75 kilowatt chargers. So. Should charge in about four hours. Yeah, hours, yeah. Depending on the state of charge. Okay. Coming in, but plenty of time, really. Oh, we can try the scooters today, Donnie. I think that's what that is. Well, I, I got to run in here. Real <laughs> yeah. Quick. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, we really do. She's a beautiful yeah. bus. Thank you. The screen up there. Yeah. I wouldn't mind riding on this bus. Not yeah. at all. Well, especially when uh, no noise. Yeah, right. thank Think God. Well, the, not getting asphyxiated you're while you're getting, down, right. you're driving down the road. Yeah. I mean, I after driving in the Tesla, there's no way I'm driving in a diesel bus. Yeah. Not happening. Oh. I think I'll go out the other stairs. Yeah. That's a little bit of a drop for me. Excuse go me. Ahead, <laughs> this ramp looks, looks better for me. <laughs> See? Ramp. I like it. All right, I want to see you on a scooter. <laughs> well, you could try the Citrix bike, too. You won't break your neck on the scooter. Johnny and I have done them before. Guys that drive unicycles can do the scooter no problem. I think this is supposed to simulate the width of the bike lane in downtown. Pretty close. Okay. That looks so easy in comparison to your unicycle. You're getting some breeze. But can you go through the bike lane? I drive in and out of downtown twice a day and I'm intimidated you by are the bike through lane. Through the bike lane, well, through the bike lane. <laughs> <laughs> right? It never happened unless it's on video. Right. I have a YouTube channel, so. Mostly centered on driving a Tesla. Uh, you know, somebody always comes up with my feed. Somebody in Nebraska, some guy's always doing his Tesla stuff. I don't know how he got under my feed, but. Hey! One hey. Go. <laughs> it's quick. All right, now he's on the Citrix right. bike. I much prefer the bicycle. Really? Tell you that really? Why is that? 
For the guy that rides a unicycle, how can that be? Uh, because, well, because the steering is so... Maybe I could get used to the... Um, the steering on the scooter is so fast. Uh, okay. Think of those little kicks. You remember the little razor things that Johnny and Joy had? Yes. The steering on those is even very similar. In other words, as soon as you, it, it, I can see how you do it wrong and it'll flip you off. So sure, guess, especially at a higher speed. At a higher speed. Um, I guess my, I guess all I'm saying is, is um, this I walked up and got on. And I haven't rode a bicycle in a long time. In a couple of years. Maybe five. Well, no, it's I been did a... out there at that Tesla meetup last summer. Right. And that, okay, so um, that was, um, you know, you just get up and go on and walk. Uh, uh, um, the scooter was unnatural. Now, maybe if I rode a scooter all the time, it would be different. But my unicycle is totally different. I actually feel... Safer on your unicycle than the scooter? More st more in control. Okay, well you look uh, young and hip on the scooter and that oh. bike looks like it's made for grandpa. Right, well the other thing I would tell you with the, let me help, this guy may, you may be like me. Uh, you kind of get used to it. Uh, the other thing is I wanted to put my feet on it like a, like a um, skate, yeah. skateboard, one behind the other. And they're not big enough so i guess you have to and that might be the right thing to do is just kind of stand on one leg and keep the other leg kind of handy in case you need to catch yourself real quick okay on your dominant side i don't know it's, it's a uh it was an interesting effect i it's not hard i just you have to get used to, to it used to it i was impressed with the acceleration the things those are not pokey little things right they zoom plenty my 170 pounds they just picked it like it I wasn't even there I was very impressed the throttle response is a little, in fact I just sort of bumped it to keep really slow just just bump it a little bit I was going really slow around these people and then I found out it kind of has if you take your thumb off the throttle it sort of has kind of like a um, crawl mode it seemed to have like a crawl mode maybe it's the slope of the hill because I was going at the right speed walking a slow walking speed without having to do anything to the throttle and it kept going and going and going but again maybe it's the hill I don't know uh, let's just put it this way that was a different experience than I thought I was going to have okay well maybe when you're done trying them out in a minute I'll hand you my equipment and I'll try it out right let me the only thing missing from here today is they don't have the we're plugged in uh, city maintenance equipment that 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 trailer and that equipment should be here too so we're in the chapel and there is a, a panel that's gonna happen now Don sure is having a really good time yes. here <laughs> Can adults really do this? yes, yes adults. absolutely there she is there she is okay. little little goose goose it goose it Woo! There she goes. This is a little electric. And here she comes. Yeah, I found that uh, slow is better. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I won't be in the bike lane downtown doing this unless it's the end of the world and I have to get from one side of the city. Yeah, I mean, it's, it beats walking, I guess, but uh, I, I think I prefer the bicycle better. Um, I felt more comfortable on the bike. Yeah, here she comes. Okay, you gonna try the bike? She, unlike me, went up the right way. Here she is. So, 
you're yeah. just gonna do like that. The kids really make that look super easy. Well, like Don said, it's a little harder. And the regen breaks the love. There's no, it's not smooth. With yeah. This. I mean, if you want to go full throttle, I'm sure it's smooth. But if you're not going full throttle and you want to do little five mile an hour baby steps, it's yeah. not smooth. Yeah. All right. All right. No, no. You got to pick it up. You got to pick up. Uh, pick up the, lift up the entire bicycle, and now kick. There you go. That thing's heavy today. It is heavy. Now look. This one, there's no throttle. We're just gonna. This is like a tank. And it's gonna automatically. Help me. You got to pedal. That you have well, to I knew pedal. You it. had to pedal. You pedal, and it's gonna be like a hurricane is coming behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You That's you'll plan. you'll adapt to it really quick, sweetie. And then, um, if you stop pedaling, it stops helping. And, you. and make. I went down and around it up the hill. You got to feel it up the hill. Oh, Brake. Yep. Yeah, those are regular brakes. Help me. Um, yes. You'll yes. It's like a wind behind your back. It's yes. Like you're going downhill. With all the, the time. All the time. Even when you're like a tank. And it will, you'll you you it. won't it's notice it. Yeah. Huh? Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wear and tear. Absolutely. There you go, sweetie. I said, <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Every yeah. time everyone goes. <gasps> yeah. Well, they're not used to something pulling them like that. Yeah, she looks more normal, comfortable, I should say, on this. Is it? You, you get used to the normal stuff pretty quick. There's in one hand. <laughs> yeah. So she's going up a hill. That's a pretty good hill, but you could just pedal up like your Lance Armstrong. It's not a problem to get up the hill with, on that bike. It pedal assists. The more you push on the pedal, the more it assists. It's going on 12. We've been here a while. We did not stay with the panel very long. Um, didn't seem like we were going to get a lot of new... Um, love this thing. We've seen that downtown. Didn't seem like we were going to get a lot of new information. That's the CNG bus making all that noise. And maybe they got the air on in there. Yeah, the sun's come out. We did talk with one of the drivers. We talked with the Raleigh police officers. We talked with uh, transportation officials. I mean, this was a great event. I think they did good. I did tell them, though, that they need the lawn maintenance crew here with their electric lawn maintenance stuff the next, next time. And she said, you'd be surprised if one person goes and leaves a comment. That'll happen the next time. So I will go figure out one or two places to drop a comment. Awesome super event. Totally worth our time and investment coming out here. But next time, you know, bring the lawn crew also. Just to add them. It would just be a, a welcome addition. We parked at the intermediate parking area here on the Greenway, City of Raleigh Greenway Trail at Dorothea Dix. We are going to be good and not just go home now, even though we've been out in the outside for a couple hours. We're going to go do our walk. We're headed toward downtown this time instead of uh, toward the sunflowers. Yeah. Well, I did good enough on the bike that I can see picking one up and renting it to go along the Raleigh Greenway Trail sometime just to get in a bike ride for something different. So maybe this fall. Yeah, but yeah. the guy told me one thing. Yeah. All the bikes look the same, the electric ones and the non-electric. Oh. And many of a pre person has rented a bicycle and it'd be one of the non-electric non ones. Huh? So he said, look at the rear fender uh, and down there, if there's a lightning bolt on it, it's an electric one. We want lightning bolts. You gotta yeah. want lightning bolts. So if uh -huh. it doesn't have a lightning bolt on the fender, it may you may swear it looks electric, but it ain't electric.
Lime scooters are on NC State. If Only. If you're a student going to NC State, you need yeah. to help them with the Lime app. Yeah. Because I can see Johnny going around campus over there on the scooter. He's used to scootering. It's been a while off the razor, but you know, he's got scooter training. Last time he was on the scooter downtown Raleigh, the one try we timed the bird scooters when they were here, it was fine. She said the Lime scooters are taller though, so if you're not super tall, you're probably happy on the other brands. Yeah. All right, we've made it over to the pedestrian crosswalk at Lake Wheeler. All right, Capital Area Greenway this way. There's a gated community to the left, but apparently this is where the trail goes. So we'll walk in a mile, a mile and a half. We got our our fitness trackers on, and then we'll turn around and we'll come back and we'll, you know, get in our, our walk time. Yay for shade on the trail. It's not too bad out here right now. It feels to me, it feels a little better than yesterday. Um, humidity wise temps about the same though yeah i'm not scared on this trail but let's just say i don't think i'd be on this trail without you yeah this is kind of um, remote. remote it feels so much more remote than the area near our home that we're super used to right. very much so. and there's a little tunnel over here and if we talked to the city of raleigh guy asked them how many bikes they had and he said one but they got a bid in for somewhere between 25 and 80 and they realize there's parts of the trails they can't get to in the cruisers and that they really have a need for bikes. So hopefully they'll fix that. I know Fuqua has a pretty good bike program. Well, at least this is well lit. And I like that it hasn't been spoiled by graffiti other than the painting that was commissioned, allowed. Um, I like that it's painted and not just a cement wall. It's kind of cool. Very abstract. Ah, so there's a ball field? Yeah, it's got soccer. Well, how can you be trespassing on a field and it has a gate so if you come with your kids to kick the ball around you're trespassing that doesn't seem right somebody mows it you mow it you use it yeah it belongs to one of the schools yeah saint mary's or something yeah maybe they put the no trespass that way if you go out there and get hurt it's not their fault. Yeah. Well, this trail does have shade going for it. But like I said, I, I would not be out here by myself without Dawn. There's no way. Of course, we haven't seen anybody else on a hot day out here, but... Well, now we're on the back side of a cemetery. I don't rightly know what cemetery that is. People are... They don't have a no trespassing sign there. People are dying to get in there. <laughs> Very funny. Hot. <laughs> so this is Fayetteville Street. We've come to our second pedestrian crossing. It looks like they're gonna slow up for us. Thank you. There was a sign posted, no dogs in the cemetery, but there was a walking path through there. So I guess if you, if you really wanted to walk in the cemetery, you could. Looks like some interesting tombstones. I ought to hike Michelle in here sometime. <laughs> She'd love that. Maybe you, can, maybe you can drive through it. Wow, those are impressive houses here for downtown Raleigh. Looks like new construction and good size and that's nice. These are bald cypress trees here on my left. Yeah, I'm a little worried about flooding. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they're elevated a little bit, but I don't know. Well, you know they expect it to flood when they've got the sewer uh, out of the ground with these covers that high, right? I mean, you just kind of know. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. I liked it a lot better when I thought it was just great. Oh, this one goes for a ways. I 
Don read something the other day that said no more wooden bridges. It was like a zoning permit thing, right? Metal. So instead of Reedy Creek, it's now Walnut Creek Trail. And we've made it to Wilmington Street. And I do realize that this is a little bit different position than you guys are used to. But I drive inbound every morning. The pretty pictures of downtown are just up the hill that way. Yep. So, Wilmington Street. And then one more road over in the, is I think is where Hammond is, where I come outbound. And uh, the trail, I know the trail does continue on that side, but we're at about a mile and a half now. Don let me walk until we got to my quote unquote street. And now we're gonna walk back. Wow, there's a deer right there. Doesn't seem too interested in us. Sort of surprised. Probably lives his entire life. Yeah, around us people on the trail. Not even turning the head to look. Now you eat the privet. Eating the privet's good. We don't like privet. So we're back to the cemetery on the return trip here. It's going good. It's going good. I am seeing some jewel weed flower today. So maybe I'm not wrong about when it blooms. So I'll have to try Yates Mill again in a week or two. Because once it starts blooming, it'll be going for a while. All right, here's the tunnel from the other direction. We stopped and talked to uh, a cancer survivor, a lady in her 60s. She's uh, doing 500 miles around town, you know, 10, 15, Jimmy V, 10, 15, 20 miles at a clip, and she's at 450 of her 500 miles, and she had a trek. Yeah, um, e yeah the e bike assist, a uh, little, little assist, pedal assist bike, sort of like the Citrix one we were on um, at the Go Raleigh event today. Anyway, that was nice to talk to her. Well, we caught a nice tunneling uh, breeze as we got back on the Greenway Trail here inside of Dorothea Dix Park. Felt really good there for a minute. It's got sunny and now it's getting cloudy again. I wouldn't rule out showers this afternoon either. Got 10,000 steps. He made me walk too far. <laughs> I could have stopped, piled up, some, but I still got to get You're in trouble. I am. Yes, you better not tell me again. You got 10,000 steps 10, when I don't. Steps. When I'm only 7,000 and something, and I've walked just as much as you. It's the difference between Google and Apple. I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. No wonder you keep on wanting to turn around. I'm not really upset with him. You guys know that, right? Just a little trash talk out on the trail. Trash talk. <laughs> and I really only have like 7,600 steps. And I know I walked as far as him on the trail and at the event this morning. And I've been out to take care of cats. And turning on to uh, South Saunders Street and up here just a little ways that's where we were in the tunnel yeah. it could be anywhere in along right here Don says there's nobody behind him yeah there is a trail right there so we just went over top of that tunnel yeah. we're going past Wake Tech and of course since it's Saturday traffic is not too bad although it's you know not nothing right now and uh, this intersection right here is where the guy almost hit me it was this one that the it's not actually a shoulder it's a turn lane but it's closed you can't go down there right now they're redoing the entrance over there we did talk to one go raleigh bus driver this morning real nice guy and um this light down here maybe we should go look at it uh he said it's a park and ride lot is what it is down here and i just assumed it was another entrance to wake tech and i guess you know it could be or whatever it's learning way um but um, 
haven't been in here since they put this up. Don't got time in the morning, wrong side of the in the afternoon. I'm on the wrong side, but it's supposed to be a park and ride and the Go Raleigh bus. There's the bus over here. Must be this on the left. Well, I don't know that I like that. It's not paved. Is that what it is? Parking lot C and D, parking lot R and S, and a warehouse. Wake Tech Community College. So this is the parking ride. I'm guessing that. Yep, it says park and ride. There's the green sign on the the right side of the entrance, but it's a gravel lot. Huh. Yeah, but it is gravel. Right. Maybe they'll come back and pave it. It's obviously they're still doing construction over here. Wow, they put in a circle. Round the bit, yeah, round the yeah. I'm sorry, I'm from New Jersey. We call them circles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least when I grew up in New Jersey, maybe they don't do that anymore, but that's what I remember. Call them a circle. There was one in Freehold. I think we just will go to, to the, get back across to yeah. go out at the light over here. None of those are going to allow you to make a left turn. Sure. Huh. Oh, some bike, bike guys. Yeah, probably. Uh, Maybe it's a training class. I, I think that's what it, it must be. They got some cones and it's a closed off lot. And I don't think it was a gathering point. I think it was a yeah, I think it's, wow. training. Yeah, that's just some serious bump, right? Yeah, well, they say 20 miles an hour. You hit that much at 20, you're going to know it. Yeah, I think Kyle's uh, older, former lowered Model 3 would have not cleared that bump. Yeah, that had a pretty good uh, crest on it. I guess you can get to another parking lot that way. Never noticed that before. So Don did a year here studying heating and air conditioning. Yeah, sure did. Completed their one year program and HVAC stuff. Yeah, sure did. One or two nights a week after working at IBM? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What year was that? that was 90 early, something. Yeah, early Well, 90. we found yeah. the R lot and uh, wow, who knew all this extra parking was back here? That's a little bit of a hike up to the main buildings. This would not be my first choice for parking, but I remember parking on UNC Charlotte because that's where I went to college and I was a commuter student. And it was heavy walking with those college textbooks, let me tell you. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, based on the lack of oil and the debris is evenly scattered. There's not a lot of people using these park this parking lot over here. Not yet, anyway. Not yeah. yet. Huh. There are emergency call boxes out here, which is a good thing. It is a very large parking lot. Yeah. Well, what's this person doing? Probably f drone flying. Yeah. He's working on something yeah drone seemed like what it was well we can provide him some good uh something good to, to have footage of <laughs> Jules going through yeah. the parking lot my guess is some of these parking lots that are were up there by the buildings they're going to turn those into uh, buildings they're going to uh, pay they're going to build New on the parking lot on the parking yep and then that parking back there will turn into the parking that's right I, that's well this campus has grown significantly in oh, the yeah. time that don and i have lived here yeah, for sure this, this is huge so we've made a loop and we're going out the way yeah, we, came we came in, in that, yeah that's right. oh we can make a left turn here oh okay well you learn something new every yeah, day I, I wasn't paying attention when we came in um, mostly this turn lane they were starting it when COVID hit and then they finished it up while um we were home for the year the only problem is is then they started all the um 540 belt line stuff up there and so instead of not having to deal with construction now i have all of that construction instead it's great it's grand i love it i'm headed into uh harris teeter we need cream and we need sour cream if i'm going to give don nachos tonight it was very crowded at the self-checkout, all 12 or 14 or 16 lanes. And then on top of that, this self-checkout is just 
place your item in the bagging area. All items must be in the bagging area. Please, I mean, like, give me a chance, will you? The ones at Walmart don't do that. I got other problems at Walmart, but not that one. I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. Would you give me a chance? And I'm talking to a machine. I am pleased to say that since I've been home this afternoon, I got all the rest of the Legos put away and stored. We got the table put back. And uh, we're good to go until the next bin comes home, whenever that might be.